it's, if you put Bill Gates in a firing range with a hippo, Bill Gates wins. But he uses his opposable thumb and he turns that hippo into hippo jerky and he wins every time. You want my pit? Oh! No, 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 I should not have done that. It was so wet. If you're allowed to use what we have, our brains. Four days! Four days! Hey everybody, welcome back to the Usual know Podcast episode 66. Round of applause! Please. Yep, yep, yep. There's a certain level of energy in the studio today because we are a mere four days away from our first headlining live show june 30th dallas texas south side music hall boy are we excited and i have on for the audio listeners you can't see it i have on the exclusive you should know podcast live show shirt i hope a lot of you wear it to the show or you wear it right now watching the podcast you can take a little picture with me right now you say twinsies ready one two three twinsies Guys, also I have an update on the PM Lounge after party. So the after party is immediately following the live show at PM Lounge. There was RSVP tickets. They are sold out now. You can still get the upgraded package for $50. The link will be in the description below. And with that, you get to skip the line and get a free drink when you come in. I know that a lot of you are like, oh, the RSVP, RSVP tickets are still sold out. But you could still come to the after party. It's a club. Just come through. Come hang out with Coach Cam and I, Mama Liv, the whole You Should Know family. We're going to party, celebrate a great night. I had to get that out of the way first before y'all skip this part. But if you're new here, you look already, you see the subscribe button isn't pressed, you're wrong. If you look even more below that and you see the comment section isn't fulfilled with your name, guess what? Even more on. Go ahead and fill that out. Get your good karma. I want to shout out to the YouTube watchers hitting that subscribe button, leaving a comment every single day. Shout out to the Spotify, iTunes listeners that leave those comments. I've been reading them and they're hilarious. The the audio listeners are low key funny as hell. I need to see in this video who's funnier. Make more jokes in the Spotify comments or the YouTube comments. Thank you to everybody that's following us on Instagram at camkennedy22 at psh8 and at you should know podcast. Shout out to the Discord and the Koala Club family. We are so excited for June 30th. The week has finally come. Let's have a great episode. Let's have a great podcast. Now on to the rest of the episode. Baseball is back, and I know everyone wants to hit a home run, but you can't do that when your untrimmed bush is starting to look like Wrigley Field. That's Nazar. Get your game on point with Manscaped, and you can start scoring on and off the field with their top-notch grooming products, trusted by 8 million men worldwide. Grab some Cracker Jacks, a hot dog, and the Lawnmower 4.0, and let's play ball. Don't forget to use code PSH for 20% off and free shipping at Manscaped. To start it off, the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer is getting hyped as the Mike Trout of trimmers, and after using it, my confidence level is sky high. In and out quickly to get the job done in just a few minutes, something that Rob Manfred can't say anything about. Trim your bat and balls with Manscaped to get into the MVP discussion this season. Most valuable player, of course, with the code PSH for 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code PSH at manscaped.com. Now back to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. Oh, I got go. I was Cam. Oh, Oh my God. Back in the studio, I'm sorry. Why did that hurt so bad? I know, I was a little aggressive. Oh my god, I'm bleeding. <laughs> what if my nose started bleeding? God, off that I'd lick it off you, right on your upper lip. My legs are sore. Would you let me lick your blood? All right, Dracula, calm down. But, uh, you know, I'm gonna give you props real quick. I'm what gonna happened, shake your hand. Bubba? What the hell was that? Grab my wrist. You, I said shake your hand, you went, what happened? Don't ever do that again. <laughs> you missed. I like what you did in the intro. What did I do in the intro? Am I giving you your flowers right now? Sometimes you don't give me enough flowers. I'm not looking at you till you put your, your put, till you put your cap back on. Sorry, I'm not doing it. We already have. That's actually in a contract. <laughs> Whenever you got it's full time, it was contractual. That's my first thing. I said, "Oh yeah, everything sounds good. You're never allowed to take your hat off in front of me again. <laughs> Leave it just like that." No, no. But you I like pretty. Uncle Pete. Don't. What are you doing? Thank you, but stop. Stop winking and touching my nose, licking your lips, talking about sucking blood. You're a freak, back. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I like what Uncle P did in the video, in the intro. What's I like, happening? I like what Uncle P did in the intro. It's not necessarily going to work the same because I'm not wearing the live show shirt right now. I didn't want to. Then twin. don't do it. Didn't want to twin with his creep next to me. Then don't do it. I love you though. Anyway, 
I like his little picture prop thing he did. I've never thought of that. The only it, reason I did it is for the live show show. Yeah, see, but shut your mouth because I just want to do it because I want to see if someone's going to jump in front of their TV and someone else is going to take a picture of them so then they can post it and I'm going to absolutely love that and repost it. So here we go. I want absolutely I mean, yeah. no one to do it. Yeah, I, I want, want absolutely I want no least, one to do it. At least four people. No one I do want it. At least four people. Out of like it. the 90,000 so, that watch this. So I'm going to go right here. Okay, you got a perfect little spot. I'm going to lean in, act like we're friends and whatnot. And, uh, Don't do it. Just see how well you can fit in this spot. I'm going to give you three it. seconds. Here we go. He's Count not matching with you. Count me down right now. Ready, set. Three, two, one. Take the picture. Audio listeners like, I can't do it. All right, there we go. Audio I just, listeners. I had, I, had to bite, I had to bite your style. Audio, sick. audio listeners, oh, we want to get y'all involved too. Harmonize. Ready, one, <laughs> two, three. Oh. Choir practice. This is uh, not choir practice. This is uh, not choir practice. Uh, When's it like? Uh, do you remember your? Did you cry to your last choir practice? I never. Went, I was never in the choir. There's so many lies and th stigmas about. I was never in the choir. <laughs> yes, you did. No, I sung the one song. <laughs> Knowledge is power. The more that you know. <laughs> yeah, and that was some, some, that was some, your claim to fame. The farther you'll go. Cam and his and contract also stops. Like you're gonna, we're gonna get copyrighted. Mm. Well, it's not a real song. Oh, <laughs> it was from like a 40 year old woman that taught music when I was eight years old. Oh, anyway. I thought it was from like Schoolhouse of Rock or something. Oh no, no, that's not the name. Of the movie. That's not Cam the name of the movie. Miss Lisa, Cam's mom, pulled me to the side one day, <laughs> and and said, "You know, Cameron cried in his last choir recital." My mom's gonna physically FaceTime you after this. She's gonna watch this episode. She's gonna pause it right about now and FaceTime you. And go, Peyton, I never said that. I love your mom. Me and yeah. your mom, we had a. We were at, over at your house. Everybody was there. We were. And me and Miss Lisa, we were on her Instagram and we were just looking at pet monkeys for like twenty minutes. It was the best time ever. <laughs> she kept showing you. Oh I my loved God. it. Bless her heart. I was I like, want mom, a pet mom, too. mom. We were trying to play blackjack. I was like, trying to play blackjack. What, what are you doing? I liked like it. But look at this one. They're like, so okay, cute. that's the last one. So cute, mom. Love it. All right, so what about this one? I was like, okay, get out. <laughs> one of them had a little berry basket on oh, its yeah. back. No, it, having a domesticated monkey, it's 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 probably the cutest thing ever until he turns into Caesar or Koba. That's why you just get the little one. It can still turn into Caesar. No, or Koba. it can't. Okay, it's not gonna have the frame of LeBron James, but it's it, All right. it still have the intelligence. So that monkey, Good, I want it to be smart. So that monkey couldn't pick up a knife and end you. No. You're nuts. That's when you be a parent. You're nuts. And you don't let the monkey get knives. If, oh! you're, if you're a parent and you fall asleep around a toddler and he bangs his head into the side of your entertainment center. Be a parent. Childproof the house. Childproof the house. That's a thing. It is the thing. But does it always work? If you do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, oh, it has 100% success rate. Yes. If you child a 100% success rate. If you put nothing, a child shut up. Listen, a childproof house listen. has never had an accident. If you put nothing flammable in an area, can it catch Who's on flames? Who's talking about flames? It's or hypothetical. If you put, it's 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 making my point. If you put nothing flammable in a room, can it catch on fire? No. If you make everything childproof in the house, can a child get hit on something that's childproof? But that yes. No. Yes. Okay. Uh, what childproofing is is putting the little locks on the on the doors and like putting the the, the soft things on sharp that's corners. That's the only thing. Or you, can you go it? extra, extra, extra on top. What, you put them in a, in a cell? What do you do? What do you, what, how you child? You get, you literally just don't get products that could hurt a child in your house. Oh, so you have an empty living room. You have a, you have floor. Or soft living room. You have room. floor. You put soft living room. You have carpet. Yes. That's your living room. You walk in, you go, here's our carpet room. Or you don't have a coffee table. You don't have an entertainment center. So you have to not have a room is your, for the child. Is your child the, your, your whole life when you have a child? Yes. All right. So it doesn't matter what my house looks like. If my child is safe. That's what I care about. You're, I'm cooking your <laughs> shit. You are literally saying you're a goblin. You're stop that. Stop that. Oh my god. Wait, that was your hip that pop? I thought that was your foot. That was a loud pop. I, I was like never you. able to pop my hips. I you gonna, should. I know. I, re I really wish I could. This oh, you know why? Because it was broken. Oh, I'm gonna bite him. Uh, fight him. Please. Bite him. Okay, if you could choose any part of my body to bite, which one would it be? To bite? <laughs> to bite. Which part of me would you bite? Like, if you could, if you had a choice. Yo, why <laughs> is this a weekly thing with these freaky-ass questions? Answer, if I answer. had to bite yeah. a part of your body, I was going to say calf muscle, but it's too hairy. I'll go with arm. <laughs> I'll just go with, like, outside of the tricep. I have a good tricep. Yeah. I look, you do have a good tricep. For my build? Let's see it. Let's see it. Don't touch me.
<laughs> okay, stop it. Honestly, okay, real question. Still hot. And okay, don't, I know I'm sweating, bro. Um, those don't work. <laughs> you're gonna like, have to bring those back. <laughs> hey, yeah, you're gonna bring those back. Shit, listen, old man's wise. Yeah. Um, honest question, and don't like, don't make this weird or like make it a joke. I already hate how this is going. like. like I hate how this is started. Like objectively, like oh. in your point of view, like like do you think I'm sexy? What are you asking me, dude? What are you asking me? Who says that? And why do you use sexy? You could have said, "Am I a good-looking guy? Am I a decent fellow?" You went straight to like intimate. Because I'm not. You, you went to sexy. Because I'm not. And you questioned me. Because I'm not interested in those answers. I just wanted to know. You're, you're like honestly, freak. no, no, no. Okay, you honestly, have eyes and a brain. Honestly, I do. And and I. Do I cut that out? Do I have to edit that out? No. I'm only thinking with one of those three things. I'm only seeing with one Which of those one? three things. Stop uh. it. <laughs> but to answer your question, I'm not going to use the word sexy. Please. No, that's the, that's the answer. It's a bit overkill. It's a bit much. So sexy, no. It's a bit much. No, no, no. No, not saying you're not. Oh, so, saying, but I am. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I got looped right into that one. Objectively speaking, I'm a very confident man. I have a wife. I know what I am, what I like, who I'm about, right. what, I, what I do. Yeah, okay? it's no problem. From a woman's standpoint. If no, I, I don't care about that. I'm not answering it for mine. Please, I'm saying damn. I can see you from a woman's set of eyes and you would be an attractive man. I don't man. care about what you women would be an attractive think about man. me. I don't care. You're light skin with a beard. You're six foot seven. You, your frame's interesting. Well, something's interesting. <laughs> and my frame. Um, no, I don't care what women or other men think. I want to know what Cameron Michael Kennedy thinks about me. Do you think I'm sexy? Uh, what I think about you? Yeah, do you think I'm sexy? I think you're related to Count Dracula. That's what I think about you. If you want to know just me. <laughs> sexy? Yes. I'm not saying yes, no. But you're not saying no. You're a good looking man. But you didn't say no. Good looking man. Good looking fella. I would say you're sexy as hell. <laughs> See, I would this, say almost this, edible. Okay, like these need to stop. It's not on the whiteboard. It's like Travis Kelsey and Cam. Hey, now Travis. So you would say Travis Kelsey is sexy, but not me. Travis Kelsey is better than better looking than both of us. You know me. Hundred percent. What does that mean? The you, sexiness comes with intimacy, and we've been intimate. I don't know if I believe that one. What? People get sexier the more you know them. That I believe. You've known me more than Travis Kelsey, and you're saying Travis Kelsey is sexier than me? He's better looking than both of us. I don't care. Slightly, it might be Sexiness to the point is not of all look. It might be to the point of Sexiness combined. is not all look. Sexy, I think, is all look. No, right? sexiness, you can, th like, just how your aura, but your, your sexy, vibe, how you sexy, talk, how you walk, how you, how you, how you handle yourself, see, but that's, that's sexy. That's that street shit. Like, sexy to me has a oh. connotation oh, of- bro, Don't arrest me. No. Sexy comes with the cuss. Stop shaking like a stripper. Se I, I, it's, have it's a never-ending trap. You have to stop. I'm the one saying normal shit. I forgot sexy we were recording. To me, sexy to me is that. See, that's that right there with what you just said is not okay. Because that means now they know that you do this in everyday life, 24/7. Yeah. It's kind of I, but in real life, I'm I touch scared. more. Do I not? Bro, you are setting <laughs> up. What do we, I'm confident. I am too. Then stop being weird about it. All right, you're sexy. <laughs> yes! I'm kidding. I'm taking that back, you freak. Do, you, you know what I do sometimes? When, sexy? No, I'm not done. Okay. Sexy comes with a connotation of like, I think it's more lust, not love. No. I'm not saying like that is the right answer. I'm saying in my brain, in the way brain, my brain you? works, like if I were to call, first off, I'm not calling anyone sexy. I have a beautiful, be, see, be, Liv is sexy. Liv's beautiful. Liv's pretty. Liv's calm. Yeah. Liv's sweet. All that. But like single people or outside talking, I think if you were to call someone sexy, it's strictly off appearance. Beautiful comes with outside and inside. That's just how my mind works. Nah. Like I, I would never call you, like if a respectful person was talking to another respectful person and whatnot, and it was just like, I don't know. I can, you see what I'm trying to say? Yeah, but I can think someone is beautiful and not think they're sexy. Exactly. And vice versa. I think sexy is just strictly talking about appearance. No. Well, I, guess we're I, wouldn't call, I wouldn't call your nurturing ability sexy. Sexy. That's uh, beautiful. I wouldn't call the fact that a, a man might be able to let his guard down more around you because you're his rock and you're his piece. That's not sexy. That's beauty. That's beautiful. Whatever. Sexy is like, you're sexy. So you don't lust over me. You're sexy. No, I, no. For clarification, I don't lust over you. You've never, never mind. You're, 
What is happening? That would have been too You're far. Ma- yeah, that yeah. Been too far. Yeah, but there's there's still context. <gasps> so they know what too far would have been, and you almost said it. It's not that bad, You though. need to stop. Sorry. To answer the final question, I'm going to go I'm no I'm going to change sexy. my shirt before we go out. Yeah, it's, it's pretty hot. It's very, it. very hot. It's the only white shirt Extremely I have, Extremely warm. Um, <laughs> it's not true. It's not the only white shirt you Why have. Why do you think you know me? <laughs> Don't touch me. Because <laughs> I do know you. This is the... That is not, that's the only white shirt you own. Are you, I'm going to punch you in your nose if you try to tell me that literally anyone go to maybe two or three episodes back, two or three TikToks earlier, you're wearing a white shirt and it's not that one. So defend yourself now, you stupid liar. <laughs> defend yourself now. You, you run on deceit. How do you feel that everything you're wearing except for your shoes is mine? This shirt is not yours. I wore it last week. Does, so we can't own the same shirt? We don't. Yes, we you do. weren't there. You're lying again. You were not there whenever they gave me that shirt. I wasn't. All right. So how do you? I have was there it? when they gave it to me. When did you go? Two days ago. Two days ago. Two days ago. No, yesterday. 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 Had my days wrong. See how liars work? Yesterday. They get tripped up. They don't know. What when did you do. go? Uh, a couple weeks ago. Oh, like a couple weeks ago, because that's pinpoint. See I, how liars work? They get tripped up when they don't. <laughs> yeah. Why are you I was so for that violent? Because you're angering me. <laughs> do you have you? Was there ever a point in your life where you thought you had to take anger management? Oh, no, never. Oh, there was a point in my life. See, that's scary. You being angry as a child, not a good look. It's, and it's cause all of the testosterone was coming at <laughs> one point. It, Puberty was yeah. a wild time. I used to get hell I ooh, that's when I was in my Biden prime. <laughs> I'm scared because you get mad now. No. Yes, you do. I get mad over very slight like You get mad over weird shit. This is how yeah. your brain works. And I'm going to tell you about yourself. Okay. It's like a therapy episode. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> this is how Cam works. For all the fans that want to know, and if you get close to Cam, he'll be like this with you. Cam, his brain is very um, weird and doesn't <laughs> work right. So um, in his mind, work. when he locks in on something, he's not capable of going outside of that at first. Yeah. So if he has an idea of how something should go in his brain, even if it's completely wrong, but his is, it's just how, because his brain's so fast. He can't think of other it's options. Yeah. So I'll be like, no, that's not how we're doing it. Like, it's not right. He'll be like, <laughs> what the hell was that second one? <sighs> so stinky, stinky toe, big head, messed up hip, and I bite my fingers. Yeah. Absolutely. And not. then give him 20 minutes, and then he'll be like, oh, right. Yeah, no. But I thought that too, though, dog. That's exactly. He's like, I thought that too. No, you, no, you didn't. You know you do that shit. It pisses me off. <laughs> I actually caught myself doing that the other time. I think it's out of embarrassment. I know. I'm like, I really go. Pride. No, I, no, I saw it though. You're yeah. like, no, you did it. It was with the backing up. Thing. Yes. I said no. I saw him. He said no. You didn't. You 100 percent didn't see that car. I said no. I did. I checked. Like I just bold faced like. I the, and I literally no looked reason. at you, not look at it. That's the shit that. And I don't even get mad anymore, bro. Yeah, you were just like, like okay, yeah. It's okay. like it's no point in arguing. Cool. His brain sucks. I have oh. a question though. God, we got to get into the podcast. Yeah, sorry, that was a long intro. Um, I have a question for you. Okay. Do you ever feel like you're not here? I don't. I actually don't know what you're saying. What does that mean? Like honestly, like. Honestly, I don't know what you're talking about. Asleep? No, no, no. What are you saying? You're awake. So, like, you ever in, like, say, a mall, right? Okay. You've been there. Multiple times. And you're at the... Say you're sitting down, eating at the mall. I don't know why this is so specific. It's very oddly specific, but okay. I'm eating at the mall. Say you're eating... I'm eating Sarku. Yeah. Say you're eating somewhere, right? You're sitting down. Sarku, yeah. And you look up and you're not there. (laughs) That has never happened to anyone ever. That doesn't happen. No, no. Yes, yes. It's almost like an outer body experience. Outer body experiences happen. It's never happened to me in a mall. It's actually never happened to me. Ever? You ever just felt like you're not present? Nope. Like everything is just happening and you're not involved. The only time I'm not present, <laughs> Snoozeville. If my eyes are awake and I'm awake in the middle of the day. But the truth is you're not present in a lot of situations. Because your brain is like, oh, I wonder how, how lizards work. Is their foot this way? And be like, oh, the color, oh, color, oh. <laughs> That's how you are 24 7. But no, honestly, you're ever like, the world is moving without me right now. <laughs> no. That, see, that's how I know you have brain fog too, and you just don't admit it. What have I not admitted I have brain fog? Oh, hell yeah, I guess you're admitting <laughs> see it. See right how now. it works? That's what I'm, you just tried to bring me into something that never happened. <laughs> Get out! Get out! <laughs> what a kiss. Kidding. I- Bring your chair back up. You're that part. I'm good. No, you're not. <laughs> What's not good? That part, that leg. Bring Where? it this way. It's whatever. 
Did I not move it? See, you're pissing me off. Okay, but do you ever... What do you think happens when you close your eyes? Sleep. No, no, in regular, like, just like this. What do you think happens? Everything. You, the same exact thing that's happening. If I was soaking wet, if I close my eyes, I'm soaking wet. No, to your if eyes. I was sitting at a table. What do you think happens they to just, your... They get covered. It's like a shade. See? What? <laughs> what do you mean, see? Right? You're looking, right? You're still looking when you close your eyes. No. What? What's happening when you close your eyes in? Actually, I think your eyes rolled to the back of your head. Wait, no, maybe not. Oh, Hold you on. turn into the Undertaker when you close your eyes. Are you nuts, Cam? What do you mean? You roll to your back of your head. No, I'm saying. <laughs> Shout out to Uh, no, I'm saying. How do you say it like? Because <laughs> I didn't want to lose my thought. You are. Because there's a lot of employees working up there right now, and they're just not on the same page. <laughs> one's fixing a bowl. Hey, I thought we were working seat. on this hammer. Working on a hammer. I see right there. No, but they don't. I think that's when you sleep. They roll to the back of your head. So right now, when my you're in eyes, rim stage four. Now I kind of feel them back there. Maybe. But so like, if I, okay, so say this, right? So say when I'm closing my eyes, they roll to the back of my head, right? Mm -hmm. So if I were strong enough to keep my eyes where that, but still open my eyelids, would I be able to see my brain? No. Oh. It's complete darkness. Behind your eyes? Yeah. That's where your brain's at. It's a socket. Yeah. What, what do you got a light bulb in there? Just because they say, oh, you have an idea. There's no light in there. It's an enclosed capture. It's dark as hell. My body is dark. All of ours is. That's crazy. Dead ass. I thought there was light in my body this whole time, like photosynthesis or something. You're special, buddy. <laughs> you're, you're, you are. You have, you have light. You're special. No, dead ass. Like, yeah. no, but it comes from your ears and shit in your mouth. It comes from your ears So there's something mouth. blocking my ears and my throat right now. If I do like this. Why do you think they literally have flashlights on the thing that they stick in your to ear? To make it lighter. To, when you go to the doctor. To see it. No, not talking. That's still the surface. I'm talking about like if you if, if there's a little man right like Ant Man, <laughs> there's not. It say like Ant Man crawled in my throat. The, oh my god. <laughs> well, it's Paul Rudd. So I mean, <laughs> you need you need to. So listen though. Say, Ant Man crawled into my throat, right? So hot. And he were to hot, he would to be just living in there. Okay. Dark as hell. But there'd be beams of light. No. Yes. Where? My throat and my ears. But that's the thing though. Your throat. Like right now, there's, there's like no, it's like this. No, no, in my butt. No. Like if, I were to, if I were to go like this, right? If your <laughs> if your butthole is open enough to bring in light, you have a problem. That's why I grabbed it and went like that. No, no. I do that sometimes when I poop. You need to stop, and you already admitted that. No, it's dark as hell inside your body, hundred percent. Why? Because there's different tubes. That, there's light coming in right here, right? As soon as you make a left turn. That light has now been diminished. You make another turn, all these little turns and drips and drops and everything, there's no light. I really don't know what's in my body. <laughs> I really have no clue. Like, once you get past, like, the, like, di diagrams, I don't know where shit goes. The, <laughs> the diagram? <laughs> Welcome again. Did I mess up? Again? The diaphragm. No, dumbass. I'm talking about, like, on a paper, the diagram of the body. I thought you were saying, I thought you were calling your diaphragm a diagram. I was about to say. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm not that stupid. Yeah, well, but you know what I mean. Like past, like a like. So you put up the picture of the of the body, right? Like an X-ray. Right, but it's all flat. Like it's kind of like the Earth. That's not really how it is. Like mm. obviously Russia and shit is closer. Yes, than yes, it, yes, yes, And like U.S. isn't that big compared yeah. to other countries. Where's your pancreas? Is that what you're saying? Like you'd you'd massively fail that. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, but like, that's flat. If you gave me a 3D body. Like, am, is, you wouldn't know what, where, where lies lay. Yeah, like, is, like right now I'm just thinking like right here, like right. If you were to peel this off, right, <laughs> oh, you would you see could, all that my Velcro ass, <laughs> that Velcro happy trail. You would just see like intestines and shit. Correct. Oh, so it's right there. So what's all back here in my back? A lot of muscles. A lot of hell yeah, there is. On every human ever. You said a lot though. On every human ever. I need to, strong man, Eddie I, Hall. I really want to get sick again. Like that. <laughs> what am I hearing? Like that good sick. What are you saying? You right ever now? want to get good sick again? You are literally quoted. You just said, I want to get sick again. Yeah, but like. I've a, never heard that. Like a good sick. What the hell is a good sick? Like that, First off. that kind of sick where like you got that extra plaque on your teeth. You can't get out of bed. You're hot. You know what I'm saying? You you can't control your rectum, like that kind of sick. That mm, like you am I, am I gonna make it to tomorrow? And you want that? It really builds me up. 
I hate when I'm. Oh. oh my god, no, nope, not now. Where well, you not fuck, you get out of bed and you smell like carcass. You are raunchy. You smell like, like roadkill. You are. That is the slimiest shit you've ever said. Why though? You want to be sitting. You don't be like, like that, and you can feel like there's like four layers on there right now. Like that's another tooth on and mine. Like the white plaque at the back, like the white dots. Mm -hmm. You and, want strep throat. And you can go like this, and it's on your what finger now. What good comes out of it? What good comes out of you being sick? What? That's disgusting. You know what I'm talking, I know about. What you're talking yeah. about. And you ever go and bring it oh, back? Oh no, 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 no! You eat sick plaque. You eat your sick plaque. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. That's the nastiest shit. You ate your boogers when you were young. No, no, no. Yeah, you did. I've never been. Boogers have always creeped me out. That's one thing. I know I'm a weird guy, but shit like that always makes me feel gross. Boogers. Yeah, it's just. I hate so it. So you just had the nerve to say you can take off plaque. It's already in my it, mouth. And then yeah, it's already in my mouth. Go for seconds. It's already in my but mouth. But a booger upsets you. Ugh. Back to this sick shit. Yeah, good What sick. do you gain out of it? I think it's that rehabilitation feeling. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's that I made it, dog. You know what I mean? Shout out to God. So you're getting, you get small victories for passing a sickness. Because I don't get many victories in life. But that's, those little ones like that really make me feel like I still belong. You're not, you're not real. You're not real. I thought you would agree with me. Because we both suck being sick. But, and that's why I don't want to do it. Because it sucks. But that ending stage, right? When you're like this... And you rip that sheet, and you could still move, right? And you still feel, you feel everything now. And you're like, I could do a sit-up right now. I can go eat. Nothing there. I can suck plaque. <laughs> you know, and then you'd go, you get that first bath, right? And all that you're shit. You're six, seven, taking baths. No, no, no. I mean like a shower. Oh, there you go. You take, you, you get in that first shower, right? And all that, that, that crust. There's so much movement. All that crust, all that phlegm, all that shit. That's in that crack that's just been sitting there because oh. you haven't had the energy to bathe. And you just spread cheek in the shower and you let it run down the back of your leg, down to the, your Achilles tendon. It's getting and then so you watch it go down the faucet it's getting and you're like, goodbye, sick. I can see everything you just said. And you know what I'm talking about. I'm very unfortunately, I do. But and then you have to bleach your tub. If you've ever been sick to the point where you're having to bleach your bathtub after bathing, then you you shouldn't have been at your house. You shouldn't have been at your house. You, you should have been quarantined. You should have been quarantined. You don't get that? You don't get like that? I used to appreciate being sick. There you go. But not now. It's almost like I've grown up. I can't get sick now because I have so much to do and it would, really, it would really hurt the company. <laughs> yeah, so you just said I want to get sick. I don't know if I want to. I really just want that last part. <laughs> you can get victories in other ways. I don't think so. I promise. Go run a mile. I might not make it out. You, <laughs> yes, I don't you think, will. I might go be run a end. mile. No. Go. It's hot. Go. Play a game. Go send a text. Make a call. I'm not good at video games. I'll lose every time. So it's not much I can do. You understand what I'm saying? I keep going. You're just like, nah, I lose <laughs> I that. I that. suck at that. Let's see. Uh, go. Uh, well, hell. I go, yeah, go get sick. Speaking of this sick thing, do you ever eat expired food just to see if you can take it? <laughs> not me. No. <laughs> you don't? No. Why? Why? Not like I can ask it right back. Not like it's like from 2005 and it's powdered now. Okay. But like two or three days, and you look at it and you make good eye contact with that food, and you're like, "You son of a bitch." It's me versus you. And you eat it. Yeah, you get a little stromboli. Dog, you can just go to this uh, an expired stromboli. Right. Why do you have a stromboli? You put. Oh, you know, you tongue that too. Anything that has like a pocket. Stop. So, <laughs> oh. It's one of those episodes, Doc. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> I looked up and caught the tail end of that. There was so much spit that came out of your mouth. It's I've been having real wet, wet mouth sy syndrome. You need to stop that. Where does your saliva miss. come from? Every time I get an exaggerated amount of saliva, it's always the back. Right here. I think that's the glands. And it goes, it's like. That little takes that little river. Takes that little. That little no, my. <laughs> Sorry. My, no, my mouth's like a sprinkler, like in the back. <laughs> Dude.
that you didn't even. I did not realize it. Oh my god, it's so genuine. I'm keeping all this. I'm just muting it. Oh my god. No, but it's like a small little sprinkler. It's like a little, like an award. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a, a surprise party just happened. Like somebody just walked in so my mouth. So from the back of your jaw, it shoots spit yeah. up to the front. Like you're, I, you're a reptilian. Like, put your finger if in my you mouth. If you gleek on me, we're done. No, if I you can't gleek. On me, we're done. I can't gleek. Put your finger in the back of my mouth. I'm not fingering your mouth. Just touch the pouch. Like there's like no, a little pouch right no, here. No, it's not happening. Sit in your seat. Sit sad in the corner. Go hug a wall. I feel like I could find someone better than you. No. <laughs> that loves me more. Oh no! Not bad oh, at no. your job because you're great I at your job. I have dying love for you. You're telling me to finger your mouth. I feel like so many to people touch would finger your my butt mouth. Sweat. Yeah. It started off with the back of the knee, and I did that for you. You never did that. I have touched the back of your knee. No, you. Fuck. You are a liar. No, I'm wearing pants. It's not wet. I'll go up. Feel my pit. I'll go up your pants. Feel my pit. <laughs> feel my pit. Honestly, dead ass. Please for them. It's our live show week. Like, you see the shit that excites him? Oh my, oh my god, it's like dreaded. <laughs> it's locked up, bro. It, your armpit hair is locked up. It, there's two huge ones. Come on, loyalty test, loyalty test. Please, I'm gonna hit you with some sick shit one day. Finger my pit. Don't say it like that, just say touch, touch it. Touch my pit. Go up though. I'm not, no. You can't You're go down. You're tell me the route of my touching. You're not gonna make me run a route. Bro, it looks like a science experiment. I guess it's like small, like holy shit! Like you have a, a lot of armpit hair. You never raise your armpits up. Oh my god! Come on, come on! Ah! No, no, no! I should not have done that. It was so wet. Smell it. Uh, no, hell no! I feel like my nose is bleeding. Your knife. <laughs> Are you like? That was. I can't believe you did that. You're nasty, bro. Don't do that to me. You begged for it. You begged for it. Doesn't mean you should have done. No, it. that was disgusting. I oh. have to watch this like hand. For I was having an argument with somebody the other day, right? That shit doesn't surprise me. <laughs> like, well, <laughs> they're like, dog, calm down. We're just in a bakery. You're like, small talk scares me. Great, hey, great call back. Not, um, yeah, thank you for, yeah. for thinking about me. But they were trying to, you're all right. Mm -hmm. Do you need like a put water or head in the freezer or something? I, no, I'm just thinking about my finger. <laughs> That's all it is. If Dude. you made me lick, I, it'd have to be some serious cash behind, How me, much? behind me licking this finger right now. No, no. No, why not even say Come How much? You know, I like it. But... I'll give you all my meals. I can't, no, I don't. Hell no. I want food. I can cook my own. But you don't have to. He, by the way, he gave me seven meals the other day. All of them expired. <laughs> Every single one of them. <laughs> but okay, anyway, sorry. I was having this argument with somebody the other day. And they were trying to tell me that the fire department and the police department all work together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. You're one of them. Yes. How ignorant can one be? You tell me. What do you, th what do you think they are? Different. Well, no shit. But they, all, they are all under the same entity. What's the entity? The city of Dallas. Oh, okay. So the construction worker is going to pull me over too. The <laughs> no. Okay. There's a police department. Right. A fire department. department. Homicide department. department. Traffic department. department. Yeah. Different, right? They all right? work for... Dallas, city of Dallas. Cam, who shows up when you get in a car wreck? Both of them. Both of them. Oh, I have never got a speeding ticket from a fire department before. They've never chased me down with a big ass water hose saying, stop, pull over to the right lane. Stop, <laughs> stop. That's not their duty. That's not their duty. Just exactly, because they're different. Okay, an accountant works for said company. A marketer works for the said company. They all work for a company. They all do different things. No, it's not the same. Exact same. Exact same. No, it's not. Exact same. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Fi <laughs> Say it again. The firefighters of Dallas. Dallas Fire and Rescue. Right. Dallas Police Department. Right. Okay. Dallas. I pay taxes to this city. Does that mean I'm a part of the city council? What? We all put money up. <laughs> what does that mean? So the mayor, right? Yeah. The mayor works for the police department too. No. Exactly. You didn't say, oh. you didn't say, the guy said, whoever I was arguing with said the fire department works for the police. Right. You said they work together, which is true. Right. 
they work together. They don't work for one of the other. They are on the same team. They wear the same jersey. They're both wearing No, purple. they don't wear the same jersey. They actually don't. One of them has well, big boots well, okay. and a big jumpsuit with a cool-ass helmet and goes, there's a cat in that tree, and brings it down. The yes. police department's like, freeze. How do they run? Freeze. They work for the same team. Did, oh, they don't wear no, the same No, they jerseys. don't. They, they, they don't they're the so jerseys. different. But they work for the same team. They're so different. Their checks, City of Dallas. So are construction workers. Okay. Are they part of the same team? They might be. Oh, you're so stupid. I, Cam. I don't know. I don't I don't I don't know on the I don't know on the construction workers. You're right. I, <laughs> yes, that actually hurt me. I think I did something in that process. Okay. I don't know on the construction workers. Fire department and police department, they're on the same team. Hundred percent. Cam, do fire do firefighters get donuts? Probably. No, they don't. What the hell does that even matter? Because it doesn't matter what they eat. Okay, when you think that's a social stigma all right, thing. I'm asking donuts you a question. Donuts and coffee. Oh, 10 90, 90, Roger, we're gonna go pull them over. Exa oh, so does the fire department get that same same thing on their on their walkies? No. That's almost like they're not the same thing. Then it's almost like the person in charge of marketing doesn't get the accounting stats because they're different. Different job, same boss, do same they, corporation. Do they all work in the same building? Kids said compre Can you comprehend that? Do they still work in the same building? Do people work in the same building that work for the same place now? Yes. No. Cam, do they still work in the same office? The accountants and the marketers? Yes or no? Just answer. It's, it all depends on the company. That's, answer that's yes not or no. A yes or no. Just, just objectively, you, objectively, not, objectively, not, objectively, not. objectively, objectively, not. objectively. Because some work in the same building, em. some em. don't. Yes, they do, Cam. No, they don't. They all report to the same boss, right? Yes, and they can work from different Fire locations. department and police department don't go to the same boss. I've never been pulled over by a firefighter. You're I'm, never gonna be. Because they're different. Thank you. I've never got a parking ticket from a guy with a fire hose. Not once, Cam. And you're never going to. Because they're different. Thank you. Good doing business no. with you. You're big ass head. So, so every, oh my God, every Amazon employee works at the warehouse? No, because they- oh, oh! Oh, that's weird! It's almost the same! Some people pack shelves, some drive the little aerodynamic vans- And where the do they go at the end of the day? And some do customer and service- And who's their boss? Behind their desk- And who's their boss? In the glory and privacy of their own house. And where's the, who's their boss? they all get checks from Bezos! They all get paid from Jeff! Exactly! Who's- They're all getting paid from the city of Dallas! <laughs> they, police officers, firefighters are both first responders. That's like both work for the city of Dallas. They are different departments. They can have different buildings. They can have so different do street duties. cleaners. Oh, they all god. get their stuff from the city of Dallas. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Am I right or wrong? Do street cleaners the people that go every morning and they water down the streets, right? And they pick up trash. Yeah. Where do they get their checks from? What does it say on it? Probably city of Dallas. So are they gonna pull me over too and say, hey, your your registration expired? Can you can you comprehend the word duties and responsibilities? But you're the dumbass saying it all comes from the same check on the name of the check and the same check, Jeff Bezos. You said that. That's that is equivalent to you saying the custodian, the lunch lady, and the teacher don't work for the same place. That is literally what you're saying. They do completely different. The custodian's never gonna teach you how to do a math equation. The teacher's never gonna give you lunch. And the lunch lady is never gonna Watch clean your classroom this. after hours. Watch this. Watch but, this. Watch oh, this. they're in the same building. Exactly, are they hey, in the same building? what happened when they taught from home? What happened then, asshole? Okay, did the custodian have a job then? Did the lunch- Yes! So they just- Who they- work Let's go there. Every custodian in the nation lost their job. And none of them got paid. School custodians, no. Oh my God, oh my God. What school did they clean? Oh my God. What about HR people? Huh? Let's do that, Bubba, since we went to school. What about the HR people? He jumps people? when he gets caught being wrong. What about the HR people? What about them? They're never inside the school, but they work for the district. Dallas ISD. There's that big ass they don't building by the, the Dave and Busters, and then there's the 40 high schools. Because listen, they all get listen, paid the shut same. Up, shut up. They all get paid the same. Because where do they work? Where does HR work? In that big ass building, right? Yeah. Exactly. So it's not the same building. So what are you saying? They all work for the same boss. Because they all- They're in the they same all, building. No, they all work for no, Dallas. They don't. There's so no, they many don't. of the same no, jobs. No, they don't. On their so a Dallas teacher and a Dallas ISD hiring agent don't work for Dallas ISD. 
they both don't get paid by Dallas ISD. I can see you quivering. I can see you quivering. A Dallas teacher, a Dallas math high school teacher, and a Dallas ISD recruiting agent. Don't get paid by Dallas ISD. You're crying. You're physically crying. Game set match checkmate. I'm sweaty, but it was worth it. You bastard. You need to shut your damn mouth right. and listen. I'll call you whenever a teacher pulls me over. <laughs> you stupid idiot. What? That's Dallas ISD. You are like caught up on duties. I don't know what that emotion was. You're caught up on duties. People can work for the same job and do different things. Period. Period. Just, 101, ladies and gentlemen. On, and I, no, a, you're wrong. I'm a firm believer of loud. That's what exactly I'm, I'm about to say. I'm a firm believer. That's of, the only of reason loud. I stopped. I'm a firn believer of loud Bitch. doesn't mean right. <laughs> I'm a firm believer of loud doesn't mean right. I just, I, I let my anger get the best of me. And that's how. Because Buddy over here is 24 years of age and doesn't comprehend the word duties. All right, call, call me when a firefighter gives you a ticket. Call <laughs> oh me. Call me, dog. God. And then, then I'll say you're right. Oh. No, call me, dog. No, call oh. me whenever you get arrested by a firefighter. Oh. Call me. No, no, no. Never... When you get called by, when you get, when you get tased by a firefighter, call me. And you're right. Then I'll, I'll secede to your, to, to your, to your point. <laughs> but other than that, so and whenever. Butter than that. Hey, whenever. What are you buttering? Whenever a lieutenant Dan from the police department comes and puts out your house fire because you left your oven on, they don't say you're right. It's all right. Oh. No, no, it's all right. Oh hey, God. whenever the D.A.R.E. program comes to your middle school and it's a firefighter teaching you, mm -hmm. they don't say you're right. <laughs> Other than that, continue to scream your loud wrong points. We could, we could exit our studio, go over here for a different, oh my God. I'm not even gonna say it. I know what you're gonna say. There's another cultivating point. I know. <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. Ugh. Okay, yeah, we had to take a so oh, short shit. intermission. We just like, Cam almost passed out. I'm sorry, I was screaming. I was, I was screaming. I'm yeah, I get, and it's what you do. I'm sorry. That's your thing. It's, you're well, loud when you're wrong, and you're you wrong a lot. What do you mean by that? You're loud, no, right? No, you got it's that first. my thing. Why is it my thing? Because you have anger issues, Bubba. No, you have anger issues. Oh, okay. You don't have anger issues? No. You, oh, I've never met a human being that bites your finger and doesn't have anger issues. That was when I was young. I've not done it in recent times. I haven't. You know, sometimes I, I just don't want to argue anymore. It's okay. That's I don't want to argue. I have a story. I have a story. It's because I talked. Help me. I, I, I was, uh, I, 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 yeah! I was, uh, yeah! like that, was the like, yell was even like, like, yeah! I think I gave up on my screaming powers in that last oh, bit. I did too. I did too. But, um, so. I was chased in a car by this girl I was talking to. Her ex-boyfriend chased us in a car. Oh, my God. Yeah, when well, I was 16. Oh, my God. It was so scary. Some need for speed shit. Hot pursuit. Actually, I think I was 15 because I didn't have a car. Oh. And so she was the getaway driver. And you're getting chased. By this. Well, who I would assume is an older He was like 19. No, he first, how old's the girl? 16. Oh, you sly dog. Come on, dog. Come I've on, been dog. pimping. Been pimping. So what happened 16 was... 16-year-old girlfriend drives new 15-year-old boyfriend off. Yeah. Gets chased by 19-year-old ex-boyfriend. Yeah. That's a disgusting And he was story like in already. a Buick, too. And it's it had like subs in it. So I was like... He's like... You're like, go faster! <laughs> I was so scared. So what happened was... I met up with her at this football game. Right? It was a high school football game. It was my first football game, too. Always dangerous. When you're dealing Always with exes dangerous. at football games, God, everyone tries to pop off. I've heard stories about him that he's crazy, right? Like, he would, he, like he's just, like, aggressive and mean and scary. And so I was a little boy. Mean. <laughs> he was mean. mean. So I was a little boy, and I was scared, and I hadn't had many physical altercations at the point. And the, yeah. the ones I had, I had lost. Mm. <laughs> so Hell of a track record. I wasn't too confident in fighting this older gentleman. <laughs> if, the thing, if the time had come. Uh, the time had come. <laughs> He's gonna cough my tail. <laughs> Drive faster. <laughs> no, I. And at this time, I didn't know what fashion was, and so I had glasses at the at that time, and I couldn't see. So I was wearing Rex specs as like my casual eyewear. I just got choked <laughs> by my own chain. You did not. Don't know, bro. You're you are you are lying. Sorry, God. You were wearing Rex specs. It was the same ones Holy I hooped in, so the cow. elastic band smelled bad. Oh. How did you, how were you even talking to girls? How were girls physically even speaking? I've always had gay. I've always been able to get past the ugliness. Bro, <laughs> if you had on rec specs in denim at the same time? No, I was wearing big cargo shorts. I went to my oh. shins. <laughs> with the lead socks. Oh my God, you were, you were, you were Wiz Khalifa with, with rec specs. You were like 2012, 2011 yeah. Taylor Gang Wiz Khalifa. And I was soaking wet 84 pounds. Oh. <laughs> with the tail.
I was a disgusting man. This girl was beautiful, though, right? I don't know how I got her. I don't either. <laughs> Hell, at least we can. I don't know either. I we can. She's we can married. Mind. We can join teams on that. She's one. married now. We're good friends. But, um, so we. <laughs> <laughs> she said one round of that was enough. So I met up with her at this football game. I was nervous. I had my Rick specs on there fucking up. <laughs> it was fall in, in Texas. It was very humid. <laughs> Brakes specs were fogging. I was sweaty and nervous. I had my tail. So <laughs> I started this football game. Uh, and when I went up to go say hi to her, she didn't uh, seem happy to see me. Oh, I was like, what's no. wrong? She goes, he's here. I immediately knew who she was talking about. Her crazy ex-boyfriend. That was me. <laughs> oh. And I go, I go, no, please no. I'm no, scared. Please, hey, like, you want to go? We don't, need, we don't need support. Like I had no intention on seeming masculine. And like I could solve this. I was like, we have to go. And I go, where is he? She goes, I don't know. I lost him. Oh, that's it's like good. fuck. That's now I gotta check my surroundings. It's like a wolf on the loose, and you're just like bait. <laughs> and you know I'm paranoid. I've always oh, been yeah, paranoid. Always. So I'm looking around. I'm looking around. She goes, "Oh my god, there he is. He's at the top of the bleachers, right? And he's literally just staring at us." And I was like, "Oh my god." She grabs my arm. She goes, "We gotta go." I'm like, "Holy shit!" Now we're in danger. We're running out of this football game. I didn't even get to enjoy one play. My heart's beating right now. My goggles. I luckily had the goggles on so I could run. I was very aerodynamic. I didn't have to go like this with my glasses. <laughs> There's no passage. So I was gone, right? I was gone. And they magnified my eyes more in the rest of it. Did, so you, I could did see your everything. tail like fly in the wind? Or was, it, or was it like tucked? Did it go At in the wind? At that point, it went in the... I took my chance. You were tucked. You were scared. Oh, my God. So we get into her car. Now, her car sucked, right? It was like, you know, your first car is supposed to suck. So this shit didn't work. I was like, babe, drive it, drive it, drive it. We see him, right, moving out of the football game, chasing us. Doom. This guy was an athlete, right? Football, basketball, track. Well, if he was 19, still in high school, yeah. <laughs> he probably had a no, he was superior idiot. testosterone. Yeah. So he was, boom, going, going, going. He gets in his car, right? We peel off. We're driving, right? And we get on to a freeway. Fast speeds, right? In a shit car being In a chased. shit car. So her shit started rumbling, right? <laughs> <laughs> you could feel the wheels about to go like that, like lay down. <laughs> the car's about to lay down. Just go, She's driving, right? But looking through her rear view mirror. I'm like, you got to look forward. I'll look in the rear view mirror. As hey, the road's <laughs> that way. The road is that way. As soon as I turn around to look at him, he looks at me and goes like this. I'm like, oh no, he knows who I am. We've made eye contact. He has a weapon. <laughs> we go. He sh I was like, babe, we can't keep driving. He's going to catch us. You suck at driving. We have to go. We have to lose him and go into a restaurant. Awful idea. Great idea. Awful idea. Because he can't hurt me with people around. <laughs> One would think, but no. So she goes, okay, bet. The closest restaurant was a Whataburger. I'm like, duck through here. We had to do some maneuvers. Bust a Yui at a light. He gets stopped at the light. Thank God. Oof. We take the Yui. We go into the Whataburger, uh, Whataburger parking lot. We run in there. I say... To hell with you, everybody's to themselves at this point. I run into the men's bathroom, and I'm in a stall. And I put my feet up on the toilet like this so he can't look under. I stayed in that bathroom for 20 minutes. I don't know where she was at or what she had going on. But I was here for me. My goggles were foggy. My tail was tucked. I come back Bro. out. I come back out, and she's in a booth. And she's hiding like this. And she goes, he's here. Who the hell is this guy? Aggressive, man. He's in jail now. Oh. No dead ass, he's in jail. I really want to say his name because the guy sucks. But um, I see him literally coming outside his car. He gets out of his car. He's looking in the window of the Whataburger. Um, I don't remember how it ended, but I remember we were safe. <laughs> I could make up an ending, but I don't remember how it ended. I was so scared my memory got fogged. It was almost as fogged as my it's goggles. Your uh, Yo, who is like? Who did she date? She was one of those girls, you know, that liked the, the. Oh god! And I think she was trying to fix herself by getting with like the total opposite of the spectrum. <laughs> the creep. Yeah. That's not you were. That's like a. That's like a movie. Like, that's not okay. No one should have that much like vendetta against an ex girlfriend in high school. Ever. I I just think yeah, to chase you on a freeway, locate you after being stopped at a stoplight. Definitely find had tail boy in the bathroom. <laughs> definitely had some parental issues. That's why I got like that. Had but he's in jail and you belong there. So wow, wow. I hate that guy. He knows what. If you if you have if you have an iPhone in prison, hey, guess what? I'm free, huh? Oh my God. What are you gonna do from in there? He gets out, finds me. <laughs> I have security now, so it doesn't and, matter. And you're, you've grown. Yeah. No more tail. No, no, no more tail. And I can fight. So, um, not him. <laughs> but honestly, 
Oh my God. I don't do like, people say I go through a lot of weird stuff, right? That I'm do. just a weird guy. You are. I don't, I feel like I don't do things that are that weird. No, you do. Like what? You don't do things that are weird. No. You don't think anything you do and you're in, I'm going to give you one more chance. <laughs> I'm actually gonna give you one more chance. Uh, we just got off yelling. I'm in a very yeah, relaxed state. Yeah, you gotta get state. up, we gotta get I'm up. I'm in a very relaxed state. I'm gonna give you one more chance. Okay. You had the nerve to just say you don't do anything weird. Not weirder than the average person. You don't do anything weird exiting your vehicle. A daily habit, Not that. every time. Not that I can think of. You don't wipe your feet. Every time you get out of your car, every single time you get out of the car, you don't wipe your feet. We're in the, in the drought of Texas. The, the concrete is cracking how dry it is. There's nothing to wipe off in his shoes. Get off me. He closes his door every time he goes like this. Like there's mud or some shit. There's nothing there. And you're drooling. Why are you drooling? I don't even realize I do that. Exactly. That's what I'm talking. People don't even see this shit. I need, oh my God. You don't wipe your feet when you get out of your car? Unless there's something on it. But you don't, but it's like warming That's like, up. You don't scratch your back? Unless there's an itch. Like, there's, there has to be a cause Kid, and effect. I gotta explain myself. There's no explanation. Yeah. There's no earthly explanation. Because it's the vibration. Turns car off, shuts door. No matter, we could be going into a concert to play basketball, <laughs> lift weights, go shop, or eat food. <laughs> Every time. I'm like a puppy. Every time. <laughs> it's like, there's nothing. You're, you're, the shoes could be brand new, dead stock. Like, there's nothing on the bottom. It's like he could buy a pair of shoes, put them on in the car. They've never touched sediment, ever. And he goes, it's like, what is that? Dude, if it's like, I can't get started. It's so, oh my God, that and all the cans at the bottom. It's so annoying. It's because I can't get started if I don't do what that. What the hell does that, you can't get started. You know what I mean? No. It's like you go like this. What, are you racing? You, you lining up? It's like to heat up my feet. I know it doesn't make sense right now. It never will. It never will. But it's, that kind of, it's just like a thing. I understand that, but that that automatically cancels your statement of you saying, I'm not weird. It's or, not or, weird. I don't do weird things. It's not weird. It's just a different way to start. It's a weird in your own way. It's like, how you saying stretch, it's, a bad weird. it's like how you stretch before you work out. I'm saying, that's like a universe. That's a, but that's a thing. And whenever before I drive, I go like that to the wheel to make sure you get a good grip. But you're not driving a Harley. Like you're, there's nothing you can rev in your car. It's you scary though when you lose grip on a wheel. I don't want to do that. And it's just kind of like a, it, it's like gripping my feet on the ground. It can be a security blanket. I feel it can be your little whoopee. That's fine. But it doesn't mean it's not, like you're weird in your own way. It's a good thing. I'm not saying it's bad, but you cannot walk around. I'm normal. I'm, I'm Joe Schmo. No, you're not. No I'm one, weird. No one does that. I'm not the only one that's weird. I didn't say you were. You're weird. What do I do? You're actually cringy. I'm cringy. Yes. What do I say that's cringy? The other day, whenever you left the studio and I got sad and I asked you, Cam, I don't know what to do for the rest of the day. I kid you not, Cam looks at me, dead serious face. I'm pretty sure you squinted your eyes a little bit and you go, just vibe. Just vibe. What, what is wrong with just vibe? Who are you, Sean White? <laughs> no for it. I mean, I guess that's not like- hey, Tony Hawk, relax. Rob Deerdick. It's not, I mean, it could be cringy, but it's not like, that's not a weird thing. You might as well go like that after and kissed. What do you want me to do? <laughs> hey, just what vibe. do you want me to do? Get <laughs> Who are you, dog? You want me to give you a play-by-play? -play? Hey. You want me to give you a depth chart on what to do today? You should go do laundry, watch a film, walk your dog out that you don't have, cook a skillet, eat the skillet, do this and that. Like, just vibe. Or talk. Do, or do whatever your soul is calling you to do. Or talk like your regular self and say, I don't know, bro, just hang out. Just do something. Just like relax. Just vibe? I don't know, bro. Just hang out and relax. You want me to say a nine word sentence when I can say- Nine words? Nine words. Relax. That's a syllable. <laughs> that is a syllable. I said nine words, you idiot. <laughs> relax, relax, that's syllables. Nine words. I don't know, just go home, or whatever. No, I don't know, just hang out, and hang out, was hang out one word? Hang out is one word. Hang out, then it's eight. Seven. What Five. happened? What's happening? <laughs> I don't know. No. Just hang out and what'd you say? Relax. 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 Seven. Where'd nine come from? Relax. I had nine at one point. Relax. That's syllables. 
I only went through that but for a little bit. I, but my thing is, why, why do I, I like consolidate oh, verbiage? I forgot you have asthma words. and you need to relax your breath because you don't use the asthma I'm pump anymore. I'm just saving you and me both time. Just vibe. It means they're synonymous. You made me angry though. <laughs> but that's okay. That's you. That's your fault. I said something. You recepted it, received it in a certain you way. You suck. In a certain way. Just vibe. Just hang out. That's like, that is literally pot and kettle. Who? Pot and kettle. What's a pot and kettle? Like kettle and pot, like you. Like no, you're saying it. You just said it opposite. What is a pot and kettle? Kettle and pot. It is not kettle and pot. What is that? I don't even know what you're saying, like at all. Like the pot, call, like if you were a lazy person and you called me lazy, it's it's example. If you were lazy and you called me lazy, right? And I'm like, that's like the pot calling the kettle lazy. That's like the pot, the pot calling the kettle black. You've never heard that. The pot. Why are they bringing race into it? It's, <laughs> what? It's it's saying the <laughs> same. It's like uh, I can't articulate this right now. It's like you're the same thing. It's like, oh, that's convenient. Yeah, what the hell is it? it was kitchen utensil has to do oh, with it? A pot and a kettle is the same thing. But they're different. No, it's not. They're different words. A pot and kettle is not the same thing. Bro, it's like. A kettle you make soup in. A pot you don't. Pot you make pasta. Pot's a pot. You kettle pasta? You're, about to, you're really about to. A kettle that. you put popcorn in. You don't even own a kettle. You don't what? own a kettle. Huh? You don't own a kettle. But I know things. No, you don't. You don't own a kettle. It's like, how have you never heard this? Because I'm not. It's. <laughs> you don't talk like that. That's probably slightly true, but it's just saying the same That's thing. That's cattle. Shut up. It's <laughs> oh, fuck. oh, I'm just going to get past you right there. Yeah, just like, just shut up and go. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, four days. Oh, God. Can't make it four days. Okay. Yeah. Dude, I th honestly think I'm smarter than you sometimes. Hell, okay, hell. No. I think I have more Did you like. See how quick my face went from that. Dude, no. I think I have more. Hell no. I have more useful knowledge than you. No. Yes. Let's go. Let's. No. Okay. Bring up something. You do it. Ask me a question. I'll ask you a question. Ask me a question first. Useful knowledge. Up. Like, how do you do something? What is this? Where is this? Useful knowledge. Useful knowledge. Yes. Ask me a question. I don't know. You ask me first. Prop up. It'll spark. Prop me. up. You ask me. Um. Um. Bit harder than you thought, huh? Oh. Who invented who invented the cars? <laughs> who what the Who invented the, the cars? Yeah. This is how simple my question for you would be. No! You don't know! Yeah! Your turn! You don't know. Your yeah. turn. Do you know? Yes or no? No. Ah stupid idiot! Stupid! Who invented the cars? Henry Ford. No. That's your fucking ego and pride. How can you say Henry you don't know? Shut up, shut up, shut up. How can you say you don't know something and then tell me I'm wrong? I already knew. You literally just said you don't know. I said, I, but the, okay, not knowing the correct answer doesn't mean you don't know wrong answers. Is this algebra class? Are we doing PIMDOS? That, that made sense. That you made just sense. said PIMDOS. PIMDOS is funny as hell. Math sucks when you use the right rules. It's the worst thing ever. <laughs> not knowing the right answer, okay? Stay with me, Bubba. Doesn't mean you do not know wrong answers. Okay? Do you think you're Aristotle, bro? You are know, not a philosopher. I know it sounds very like <laughs> No, Harry, I get what you're Harry saying. Harry Potter-esque. Yeah. But th that makes sense. Oh, no, we don't know yeah, shall yeah. answers it's, and we don't it's both. Contractual gar like jargon, but it's not You know what I'm saying? Yes. Just cuz I don't know who created cars. Who made who made the sim who made the Who made the Henry Ford. There you go. Cuz you go to this. No. Yes, Henry Ford. Who invented cars? Henry Ford. Wrong. Who is it? Do you want to look it up? Because I, I don't know either. I will gladly say All right, say new I question. Know. No, new question. Who invented peanut butter? Don't know. He was black. That's, what, <laughs> that's the only reason I... <laughs> um, okay. No, we got to come up with a Idiot. question. Okay. Okay. You, a useful question. It's hard. A useful hard. question. They're hard. A useful question. Okay. What's the deadliest hunter of all time? What? <laughs> the deadliest what hunter... What am I supposed to say? Genghis Khan? What am I supposed... <laughs> no, it's, a, it's an animal. It's an animal. Yeah, the deadliest animal hunt, the deadliest hunter that's an animal. What is it? That's useful. How the hell is that useful? Because if you go outside and you see this thing, run. What are we in the bird box? If you look at it, you die? No, but if it can get you. Guess, what is it? Since you know everything. That's not useful. It's a off. dragonfly. They have the highest kill percentage. <laughs> They have the highest, the highest KD. Yes. What is this, Call of Duty? I'm telling you. 
They're a dangerous insect. You just said the dragonfly is the dangerous hunter. Google it right now. Since you want to Google things, Google it. I bet you did see that, you weird little peasant. Because I, that's useful. Because I need to know what, what's the deadliest Can a dragonfly land? kill you? Yes. No. Flies in your throat. Uh, and he the, pulls out his blades. The same way I, the same. Slices you up. The same way I fly. We're done. <laughs> it's a great episode. What's the deadliest land mammal? Human being. Nope. Yes. Hippo. Human being. It's a hippo. Are we a mammal? Yes. D are we on land? Sometimes. It's us. It's a hippo. Deadliest. It's us. Google it. Human being. Google it's it. It's at the top of the food chain. All mammals. Deadliest though. We're at the top because we're the most smart. Who's killed the most people? Because there's more of us. Doesn't mean we're the deadliest. Sometimes. So you with everything you know, everything you're capable of doing versus a hippo with everything they know, everything they're capable of doing. I will lose one on one with a hippo. I didn't say one on one. If you're if you're in a yeah if you're in a coliseum and it's you versus hippo nothing, sure you lose. Then what are you saying? I'm saying you said deadliest. You didn't say one on one. You didn't say strength versus strength. We have created nuclear bombs. Listen to me, in the simplest. Did a hippo make a bomb? Listen to me in the simplest form. You don't do that when I speak. Deadliest. <laughs> deadliest land. Mammal. mammal. Human. Are we a mammal? Get me, yes. Get, yes. get me butt ass naked, right? If put me in the wilderness, right? I have nothing on me. Mm -hmm. I'm just a land mammal, right? Mm -hmm. Get a hippo, take its clothes off. Mm -hmm. put, it, clothes. put it in the forest. Hippos don't wear jeans. <laughs> Hippos never had a pair of work slacks. And you put a hippo, right? Okay. Me and a hippo. Mm -hmm. Land mammal, land mammal. I'm losing. You're losing every time. You're losing every time. Take you butt ass naked, drop you in a city, okay? All right. Take a hippo butt ass naked, undo its belt and its it works <laughs> yes. like, drop Take it him in a city. <laughs> yes. You win every single time. No, I don't, Cam. I don't care. We could be in. We can be in Palm so Springs, you can't, Florida. You can't walk in to a Cabela's, or you can't walk in to a firing range. Some cell. Cam, that's like saying you're putting different stipulations on. You said walk and outside, you, you right in a you city. No, I didn't. Just say everything is gone. Just land. Exactly. If it's just I okay, just that. out here then. I already said that. Here, put it in here. I already said that. Put it out there. But in terms that's of that's a specific case where I have to have a weapon. That's your so own specific you. case where you're butt naked in a forest. The only stipulation where a hippo beats you is if you're with the hippo by yourself and there's nothing around. You think you so so based on that they're the deadliest, right? Yes. So they would kill all humans. Yes. Okay. So if a hippo comes into Dallas, yes, all of us die and we're extinct. That, okay, put one what one human with 80 hippos. We die. That doesn't matter. You're putting these these irrational stipulations on the other person that one other has the upper hand. Exactly. If the argument is mono y mono. Deadliest land mammal. Yes, that's the stipulation. Stop saying other things. But you but you're not you deadliest land mammal. Yes. All that all that means. All the thing we're trying to, ca to categorize is who can kill more. That's what deadliest means. And a hippo can. Yes, and you you're know not, you're wrong. You're not listening to me. I am. You're saying because we built things, we can build things, we can do different things. Exactly. But I'm just saying, mammal, to your purest form, right? Now you're saying that. The original. That's, that's what the, I said. The, the, the deadliest land mammal. I didn't say with the gun, with the nuclear the, bomb. All that with deadliest the, means. In an empty room. There's no. You can't use your intelligence. You can't use other things you've crafted. You can be as smart as you want. Put Bill Gates in there. Doesn't matter. He's dead. He's in where? In where? Anywhere with the anywhere. hippo. And if you put Bill Gates in a firing range with the hippo, Bill Gates wins. But he grabs an M60, he uses his opposable thumb, and he turns that hippo into fucking hippo jerky. And he wins every time. That's what I'm saying. If you're allowed to use what we have, our brains, we win. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, God. All right, guys. We will do pop culture next time. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired. Oh, my God. We'll I think say I actually blacked out at one point. We'll say it for y'all so we can have it. Um, uh, sorry we didn't get to Put people's... Sorry we didn't get to people's favorite segment. You know what segment that is? Pop culture, pain and camp. Do, 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 do. Pop culture, pain and camp. We'll see y'all next episode with that one. Yeah. All right, Cam. Get us the outro. Get us out of here. All right. I still love you, even though you're like this pro-hippo activist now. You don't believe in yourself. But I still love you. 
Uh, we obviously still love y'all. We cannot wait to see you. This It's four days away, guys. It's finally here. We cannot wait to see all of you. Good we cannot much. wait to make an amazing night. We cannot wait to share that experience and memories with you. It's going to be so, so fun. June 30th, four days away. You Should Know podcast, live show, first ever. Hometown heroes, Dallas, Texas. It's going to be fantastic. Can't wait to see you there. Anyway, to confuse the casuals and get your good karma Let's for this week, show, show. on Instagram, on Patreon, on TikTok, and on the full link, leave the secret code 4DA. Four days away. Four days away. 4DA. You should know live show. 4DA. Confuse the casuals. Get your karma. All of that. Any information you need to know, link is down below. Remember, Uncle P already said it in the intro, but the RSVPs for the after party is sold out. Wait, wait, wait. Pump your brakes. That doesn't mean you can't come. That's just RSVPing. It is still an open club. You can 100% show up, baby. Show, show up, show out, after party, PM lounge, immediately following the live show. One more time, you do not have to have a ticket to the live show to get into the after party. And if you want to skip that Friday night Dallas, Texas line and get a free drink on the inside, VIP upgrade option is available. Click the link below in the bio. bio. It's all right. Click you the almost link got below it. In the bio. We love y'all. Four days away. It's finally here. The wait is over. Uncle P. We hope to make it an amazing live show and make it worth it for everybody that got a ticket. Thank you guys so much. We love you so much. We're very excited. We've been working our ass off, and it's <laughs> finally here. Um, hey, if you're coming to a live show, make as much noise as you can. We want it to be loud when blow the roof off of Southside Music Hall, and then PM Lounge, we're going to turn it upside down. All right? <laughs> we love you guys. Remember, when I took Wall Bears, don't make it home to Christmas, and we'll see you next time.